Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Seeds of Liberty podcast. This is episode 38. Uh, as always, the uh, Seeds of Liberty podcast is covered by the BIPCOT NoGov license. This allows for reuse by anyone except for governments and the agents thereof. You can find out more information about this at BIPCOT.org. So this week we are joined by Johnny Liberty. Uh, he is a writer slash content provider for the Free Thought Project. Um, which can be found at thefreethoughtproject.com. Um, and he is also the creator of a very popular Facebook page, Mar uh, America Today, uh, which I am a huge fan of. Uh, so thank you for coming on, Johnny. It's uh, good to have you on here. Uh, welcome. It's good to be here, guys. All right. Um, so this week, uh, we figured we would, uh, without Danilo, we would uh, have Johnny on and maybe discuss some of the current events going on. Um, <clears throat> And uh, we'll see where that takes us. So, Dave, did you want to uh, start off with any place? Or, uh... <laughs> uh, you know, what's really bugging me is just this constant running to Trump uh, oh. uh, that the, the, the right is doing and the people who are blatantly making themselves out to be who they really are are running to them. So it's just, it's just kind of disheartening. Like, Trump is definitely not... a big... Um, He's a big business kind of guy. He's not really a big free market kind of guy. So he's going to be blatantly a fat. He's blatantly fascist right now, and I don't know if that's what they expect or they're going to see or ho hope anything outside of that's going to happen once he gets elected. I I don't know. You know, he's just he's a fascist. He's just not the establishment's fascist. I guess that's why everyone's running to him because at least he's just at least he's something other. Than, yeah. I think people have given up on the system, and this is the, the this is the signs of that. Well, I, I I'd like to think that, but uh, I I think something you said is, is probably the reason a lot of people are drawn to him is the whole the idea that he's always not the establishment, although the a lot of a lot of uh, very very misinformed people on the other side of the fence say the same thing about Bernie, um, although he you know he's obviously <laughs> been part of the system for how long now. Um, but it's, it's, it's weird. It seems to be a weird place to me because a lot of people do seem to be disenfranchised with the current system as a whole, but I don't know how much closer they are to recognizing that it is the system itself and not just what the system has supposedly become. You know, so a lot of people, to, at least to me, although the one comment you made about when you led off with that, I, I thought maybe you were talking about a particular so-called anarchist. Who has been leading his making his uh, <laughs> Trump love very well? Yeah, I was. I gave. I gave, I, I, I. I put a little jab in there. I just, uh, you know, lot. Uh, you fuck up and you're not logically consistent one time. I got it. Okay, that happens to everyone. You do that two times. Okay, that happens. Right? People slip up fifty times. I don't know, people. <laughs> I just think people say ridiculous things to get ratings. Just my my personal opinion on the well, matter. Some do. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm well. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, in, in, I think it's a, I, I think it's just a, a testament to the quote unquote liberty movement to uh, you know see watch so many people care so much about it, what another person thinks. It kind of goes against individual free thought <laughs> and. You know, think for yourself, man. Don't let somebody else think for you. If you don't agree with somebody, you don't agree with them. Like, okay, that's fine. But when somebody starts getting, I, I have seen that name so many times, and I'm not going to dump names because it's not my style, but I have seen that name so many times over the last few days. Mm -hmm. And that means that he's doing something, or he or she, yeah. just for, you know, big. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i've seen it so many times that why why if i say stupid shit does anybody care if you guys say stupid shit does anybody care like vote for bernie sure let's vote for bernie and hillary and whoever else like i'll i'll say it whatever nobody cares <laughs> why does anybody care what other people say well i think i think Just part of it is uh, and I think I said something about this the last show we did. Um, there's like a residual effect of statism 
uh, that lingers in a lot of people. And you know, I, I'm I'm not immune to this because I'm I'm still relatively new to this whole thing. You know, I've I've only been admittedly calling myself an anarchist in public for you know a little over like two two and a half years at this point. Um, <clears throat> but I, I see it a lot where people they that they rail so hard against the collective when they're engaging either on social media or or in person with statists you know they 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 make their point all about of individuality but then they turn around and when these silly in, when the silly infighting or these or these disagreements happen um, within the you know the so-called community those stripes come right back out again and it's like oh they you know they you what are you doing you're 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 messing things up for all of us and it's like dude yeah you're right i mean what do we care um, but I think I think that has something to do with it. I also th I think a, a second part would be that because this is still such a relatively small community, um, you know, overall in the grand scheme of things. Unfortunately, um, a lot of people, again, coming out of that status mentality, reject rulers, but automatically went looking for leaders, and that's how we ended up with the celebritarians in the first place, where these people that everybody looks to and goes, oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're not following you, but we're basically following you. So, <laughs> so some of the people that become bigger names, they become, they either make themselves targets. Um, you know, one of them in particular, I know, uh, you know, I, he, he, I don't care. <laughs> he, he, he does it because he knows it'll get him ratings, which, okay. And people keep falling for it. So it's like, who's actually the idiot there? You know, he's, he's getting traffic driven to his site um, by people talking about him whether it's negative or positive and he doesn't care well i just so wish he would I, I just wish he would come out and say like look i'm kind of a pragmatic guy you know like you know all this anarchist stuff that i say is you know i believe it but i'm kind of also pragmatic where i know it's going to take things to happen for stuff to happen so you know uh, it, it just <laughs> he's we... Here, here we have Dave admitting to being one of the people who's who's affected by what somebody else says. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I don't know. I'm just busted, dude. No, I, I, no, I really, I really just it just blows no, my I... mind when people are like, "This guy's a libertarian. This guy's this," and then they're over there advocating for either Rand Paul, which I've seen some of them do, or they're advocating for Bernie Sanders, or they're advocating for Trump, and it's just like, "Where's your fucking head at?" Like you, you know, this is not gonna work. The government is a puppet for the banks. Well, of course, but I, I think I think people in that respect, some of them, I mean, some some of them are libertarian slash anarchist, the name only. Um, but other ones, I mean, they they may be being pragmatic about it, but you know, they're. They, I, I think at least most of the ones I've encountered are just trying to minimize the damage, which I personally can't fault people for. And it, if if this is, you know, I mean, just I mean, I'm sure. We, I mean, we've talked about it before. The whole idea of the liberty movement. I'm one of those people that hates that term, because um, I just think of a I think of going to the bathroom every time I hear it, and uh, it actually fits the way things go on with the stupid infighting. Um, but uh, <laughs> I think a lot. I think a lot of it is people just still searching for anything. And it, if if we're if we're all supposed to be at, about freedom, let people be free to want these things or if they want to be the ones who try to minimize damage by doing that things okay let them i don't care i know where i stand you know i'm not participating in the voting system anymore i made that decision a couple of years ago um you know but i don't necessarily fault people for still trying because you know what else are we going to do in the interim you know it's we i think I, 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 do what yeah. you want exactly you know that's what i try to do i try i try to live my life as freely as i possibly can right now you know i mean we've talked about it before i Hopefully. i'm yeah i'm Hopefully i'm violate the law yes i <laughs> exactly i have well I, I i promote this all the time and uh i've had people challenge me on it lately thinking that i'm just all talk but no i i i promote non-compliance as often as i possibly can i do it myself and i encourage others to do so but on the flip side of that, I also don't get upset with people who aren't willing to because it, there's risks involved and you have to be willing to take those chances and not everybody is. And you can't blame people for not wanting to be. So that's what I think, you know, Dave, you, you seem to be. And I don't I don't think it was your intention, but you, you, you know, it's like it's kind of like the purest attitude. Like, well, you, how can you advocate this stuff? 
Well, yeah, if we're gonna go, you know, your audio is cutting out real bad, time, man. I'm sure, can barely hear you. I can, I can hear people, fine. I guess, but it doesn't get us anywhere, and you know, I, I try to live as principally as possible, and unfortunately, because of the the hand we're already dealt, you have to be pragmatic every once in a while, and uh, you know, just don't compromise yourself, and let others do what they want to do. Um, as l I, I think as long as they don't end up discrediting the rest of us as a whole to a to a major extent what what harm you know what is it what is it really doing other than giving other people giving some people other stuff to talk uh, about. i just think that we should call these people out like the this person does not represent this at least this <laughs> idea <laughs> like like hey look this is a load of bs that you're being served right here this is like no moral rational person would do this yeah, but again, you you don't you don't know you don't know the intentions of people, and certain people may just be doing things as we've discussed for ratings. They you know they may just be pulling the the world's biggest troll on everybody, um, and watching people get sucked in. And because of the, all right, see this is ridiculous. We keep talking around it. I'll say the name. I don't care. We're talking about Cantwell, obviously, for anybody who hasn't been paying attention. I don't personally have a problem with Chris. I've met Chris. I've hung out with Chris. He used to live here on Long Island. We traveled in the same circles, uh, or some of the same circles, when I first became when I first started referring to myself as an anarchist. Um, you know, and he he's openly admitted to me in in those in those conversa you know group conversations and at other times that he does stuff purposely to drive traffic to his site. You know, and like it just seems that some people seem to forget that, and like all of a sudden he's doing these things. So could he be serious about everything and be, you know, dead? Sure, he could be, but he also could be just messing with so many people. So I, I think Johnny's attitude of why why care is is be is better in this particular situation. I mean, um, maybe maybe not so much why care, more more like don't let one person speak for everything you believe. Like if you're that personally affected by what a person is saying let the message speak for itself you know if someone makes a great quote it's a great quote mm -hmm. it doesn't mean okay um there's former presidents there's status out the ass that have made great quotes should we completely disavow everything that they said just because they were logically inconsistent or maybe did other things what what words are doesn't change just because you attribute it to a certain person, I guess would be the best thing. I can separate the words from a person. Maybe other people can't. I, it's not for me to say. I just, I appreciate good I words mean, or good word usage. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Just some shit he said was pretty nihilistic. So... I'm you not. Would, I'm you not. Would, you would know, Dave. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's just like, look, if as long as my goals are met by any means, I don't care. My goals are met, and I. And so that's kind of totalitarian. That's kind of fucking evil. Um, like, if you have the if it, good ideas do not require violence. It's that simple. No, no they don't. No, and and again, if if he was a hundred percent serious, and with with Chris, you know, not violence, but force. Well, no, but if the, the you know the whole line about using the state to wipe out the leftists, yes, if he's a hundred percent serious about that, that does bring a lot into question. But again, you know, you, you okay, so you can dismiss him from this point on if you want. Um, but I, I think Johnny's point stands true. I mean, that's the whole idea behind that. What is that? That the Aristotle quote um, about the mark of an educated mind is someone who can you know. Um, take in information without accepting it or some, something along those lines to, par to paraphrase it, you know, and also, and conversely, and not conversely, but also, you know, like you said, just because they, even if somebody's done everything else wrong in their life, if they say something that's true or say something that, you know, strike, strike something, strike something in you, does that, can you just ignore it just because of everything else they've done? No. Because that you know that's like that's like genetic fallacy territory. Just rejecting something on the on the basis of where it's come from, and not for the intention or the the actual words or what what message or argument is actually being being put forth. You know, Hit, Hitler had some Hitler had some good arguments about certain things. Supposedly he was a, he was a painter. He liked cats. Like, so are you supposed to say well well Hitler liked cats, so everybody who likes cats is is, is evil then? Like no, like. 
you have to you have to be able to separate these things. And uh, you know, I, I take that I take that position with with like somebody like Molyneux, you know, somebody who had a had a big influence on me um, coming into this. He was one of the first pe pe people I came across and started you know reading his stuff and listening to his podcast and stuff. Um, and in the past year or so, I felt he's turned a certain corner in certain areas that I just vehemently disagree with. And I've tried to voice my opinion to him and in his groups. And of course, you, you tend to get blocked when that stuff happens. But anyway, um, you know, but I'm not going to discount the valuable information that I got from him beforehand. Um, and with Cantwell, it's the same thing. I, I've always thought that he's a pretty good writer. Um, you know, he's very, when he, when he, when he puts pen to paper, he can, he, he's very articulate. I mean, like I said, I've spoken to the guy personally. He's, he is a smart guy. He's just got anger issues. And sometimes I think that gets the better of him. And sometimes he's, he's just an a-hole, you know, but whatever. Um, I can't discount the stuff that he's written that I agree with just because I think he's may have lost it now or whether he has or, or he hasn't, you know? So, like I said, with the Molyneux thing, same thing. You know, I don't discount the other stuff just because I disagree with him on a lot of things now. It, it doesn't make what he said to me. It doesn't make what he said before any less true. Um, and I'll still happily pull that out if people like newcomers ask me for, you know, starting points or uh, reading material or, or videos to watch or whatever. I'll still point to that early stuff and say, here, check this out. You know, I do the same thing, man. I, I, I reference I reference that stuff constantly and I mean, there's really not much more to add to it. You pretty much hit the nail on the head, dude. There's really nothing I can add to that. I mean, I I will upload Stefan's videos. I'll upload Larkin's videos, whoever. I mean, the message the message doesn't change, and it's almost straw man-esque in fucking when you think about it, just because it's like, I disagree with X because Y. That makes no sense to me. Logically, that makes no sense. Just because you've done one thing does not mean that everything that you've ever said or done can be immediately discounted. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, not, I'm not trying to discount that's everything. I'm, I'm not trying to discount everything Cantwell has said. I, I'm just saying that the the direction he's going is, is a... Um, it's either a ploy he's got mixed uh, up in his head that we don't know about, or he's really jumped the shark. <laughs> well, yeah. But like I said, it, it could be either, and we don't know. So that, I mean, I think that, that points more to what you said earlier, Johnny, about not, not necessarily not caring, but just ignoring that end of it. Cause yeah, for, dude, ain't even, really even got if, time for that. Sweet Brown, <laughs> Sweet Brown had some logic, I'm saying, and there's just certain things that just ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. This is the most thought I've given to the entire topic other than seeing that name yeah. constantly in my freaking Facebook news feed. Yeah, yeah, well, that'll happen. Uh, so, um, what's pissing you off lately there, Johnny? What's pissing me off? <laughs> yeah, what's 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 pissing Man. you off, really? Nothing, really. T I mean, I just live life, dude. I enjoy, I, I live my life. I'm talking uh, about in the news or whatnot. Oh, news? News-wise, it just really... Oh, dude. How can people not see through the geopolitical theater at this point? Like, it is so blatantly obvious. We've seen it so many times now. How can people not see through Do you this, think man? Roman citizens, like, towards that apath apathy phase of the empire were saying the same things? I think that probably a good a, a good portion of them probably were, or not a good portion, but a very small portion of educated people, the same that we are. I... I would say we are uh, freaking ah, dude I don't even know man how I just how can people not see through this we've seen it time and time again like when I can reference a movie from the 80s in making my freaking point <laughs> dude do you even Rambo 3 all right seriously we're gonna <laughs> arm these same people we're the same thing's gonna happen like dude do you even Rambo 3 bro like really Really? Yeah, Rambo have you, have 3. You, have you made a meme of that yet? Because if you haven't, you need to immediately. <laughs> I think I have actually a couple of times. I don't think they've gone over well, though, because apparently people do not Rambo 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got to watch that movie. Uh, I, 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 I'd, I'd have to watch that again. It's, so it's been a very sad. long time. <laughs>
I, I'm not even that old either. Like, serious, I, I cannot have this all figured out at my age. Like, there are people much older than me that should ought to have should have they don't get it man they don't get it and i'm sorry i'm saying they and i'm sorry i'm over generalizing but they just don't get it the lights are on but no one's fucking home well see i all right i, I guess maybe 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 i'll play devil's advocate a little bit here um i, I yeah to uh, some of them are completely just lost causes i think and it just i don't think it'll ever strike them but Whenever I try to, whenever I try to, to, to look at uh, look at these individuals and say, okay, why why aren't they? Um, my first instinct is to is to look at how how my progression came along, um, and I was just having a discussion about this earlier today, and it was funny. I we, we just a group of pe group of us talking, and we, we all kind of figured out that we all ended up um, dropping out of school around the same time for pretty much the same reasons. But they all ended up coming to realizations about because they didn't finish their indoctrination and they picked it up and 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 they've been you know anarchist or whatever for a while now um i took you know i should have been able to bypass a lot of it i still got stuck on it so I, I look at myself and it's like okay i was already in my 30s before i even started to put this stuff together you know even came close to putting it together so i, I and tried, it wouldn't I have been I, possible without the internet <laughs> no it, it, it probably wouldn't have i'd probably still be stuck but yeah, I, that I, the internet is fucking them up right now, and they know it. Well, yeah, but I, I, I guess I have a little empathy for for certain people. I mean, the ones that are very blatant and in your face, um, and just like you know, ridicule you for having these ideas. That's a, I mean, those people, like I said, I, I try to just to stay away from. But the other, you know, there's there's so many other people that I think, I, I we touched on it a little before with the Trump thing that I, I think certain people. A, a good number of people are disenfranchised, but they, they don't, it's not just that they can't see it, they don't want to, because this is something I've said a lot, where it's, it's, it's because we're built, we're in a fear-based system, you know, where it's run by fear, um, and that's how they, they maintain and, and, and increase control. Um, people are just almost inherently afraid at this point, and one of the scariest things for just about anybody, I would think. I mean, I know it was for me, is to even consider the fact that you don't know jack about the world and that most of what you've been taught is a half-truth at best. Like, that's scary. That, I'm that scared the ever-living heck out of me. Oh, yeah. Like, I first... I, I'm, I'm being told a lie that's just a modification of a bullshit lie that's yeah. just a modification of another bullshit lie. Like, <laughs> No, exactly. I think, uh, I, I, think, I think that's so a lot of people, I, I think they, don't, they, they really don't want to see it um, because that means you have to, I mean, again, I, I take it from my experience. Cognitive yes, dissonance I, hurts. It does. I mean, I, I may be extrapolating, you know, I may be projecting. It hurts the feels. <laughs> yes, it, hurt, it definitely does. It hurts the feels. It, it, it beyond feels, it like, like, yeah, exa actually feels pretty much covers it, but uh, it's an emotional reaction, man. I tried to cover this in a video that I put out a while ago. I did a response video to the Eric Shepard challenge, mm -hmm. and uh, I laid a flag out, and just as kind of a giant fuck you, I put my old military, my old military uh, fucking unit insignia on there, mm -hmm. and I just went on a little miniature rant. And actually, the entire thing started because I had some stupid fucking flagget, and I hope that that word does not offend too many of your listeners. <laughs> but I had a stupid flagget, and this word totally applies here. Trust me, you'll find out now. <laughs> Threatened to kill my five-year-old son. Whoa. Because of a meme. A meme, bro. A picture. Yeah. No. That didn't fly. So beyond that, I decided to go on a little miniature rant. And Yeah, I loved Michael when King's. It, when, when you really explore cognitive dissonance, when it comes down to it, man, you can read through it. You can go on everything you can possibly find. And I, I highly recommend, if you want to see the worst of the worst, there is a page called the Troops or Welfare Horse. That is one of the most offensive things. And dude, I'm ex-military, man. It offended me and I'm an anarchist. <laughs> it's an emotional reaction. 
you have been programmed. Literally, your brain is wired beyond thought. Thought goes out the window. Just this is how you react. And when you challenge that, you're going to get the worst. And, dude, you got to see my inbox, brother. I get oh, death threats <laughs> on the daily. It's a regular thing. Yeah, that's... I can, ima I can imagine. I, I, I know a lot of the content you have. <laughs> yeah. I, I got... Oh, go I posted a meme that went pretty big uh, about two months ago. Ended up reaching a little over two million people. And in the span of three days, I got almost 500 death threats. Wow. That's getting it right there. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I often... I often I often gauge myself as not doing enough because I don't get enough of those. I, I've only got, I've only ever gotten a couple. <laughs> I don't think the, I'm working the, the hard enough. Part about, the yeah, I get a, part quite a few. Was, though, I literally I spent I I devoted three days of my life to talking to these individuals, and of the 500 that I talked to, I convinced one guy to go AWOL from the military. Nice. Two guys are current friends right now, and they're working their way down the rabbit hole. And I got about two dozen others that were just people that, hey, I'm going to share information with you. That's it. And they accepted it. And you just got to break that cog disc. And brutalism goes to a way. We all have a diversity of tactics and how we want to, you know. Yeah, liberty. that's why I don't bash anybody's just, method, man. Yeah, we, we, you know, we ultimately, there's a diversity of tactics. And that's beautiful. I talk about this with my friends all the time. You have your way, I have my way, we all have different ways, but at the end of the day, we all want what we individually want, and I think for me, that's freedom, and I'm pretty sure it goes the same for you guys, too. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what we were talking about the other day when I was asking you, do you think this this rating group that I have, uh, Google Voluntarism group, uh, was a good idea, and you said, yeah, any attack at all angles. <laughs> Yes, any angle possible, man. I any anything that gets it out there, that's your opinion, and it's probably going to work for at least someone else. It might turn a whole lot of other people off, but if it turns one person on, then so be it. Well, the the whole idea behind it is to just get people to see that word because we live in a world today where if someone sees a word they've never seen before, they've got a device in their pocket that they can pull up and then they. And then it's down the rabbit hole. They go onto that Wikipedia page, and then they see another word that they're not used to seeing, like anarcho-capitalism. And then they're going in there and reading about that, and then they see Murray Rothbard, and then they see Larkin Rose, and then they see <laughs> this, this, and this, and it just puts them down that hole. And uh, that's all it takes sometimes is just someone to see that word. Just someone to say, say, what the hell is volunteerism? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I I can't disagree with that. I I I've I've promoted the same thing, you know, just whatever tactics, because it's it's just like anything else. I mean, I I I, I took take a lot of cues from how I operate my my dog sitting business and how I deal with dogs, and it's like, you know, certain methods work with different animals. So same's gonna be with with humans. You know, everybody's gonna. I've I've always said that you know everybody everybody has that aha moment in them, and it's almost uniquely different for every individual there may be similarities it may be it may be the same topic for certain people but there's always that unique aha moment and i believe it's in just about every individual out there who is you know mentally competent and you know is is, is has the ability to to yeah like the, logic the, and reason the the brutalism approach would not have worked on me but what i've seen is is it works like crazy on enforcement class people almost every brutalist that you know is ex-military or cop <laughs> if you didn't yeah. notice <laughs> if you if you didn't notice because that's because sometimes a message needs to be beat over a head because someone went through boot camp had a message beat through their head too a yeah. lot worse than seeing a meme that wrestles your jimmies i'll so, tell you man the, the best ones in my subjective opinion are Marines because I, I'm ex army, mm -hmm. but the Marines get the most hardcore brainwashing possible, dude. Those guys, and we all know a few ex Marines that are, mm -hmm. you know, anarchists now. And yeah, those guys, for them to get it, that's that's really saying something, and that's awesome because Marines, 
Yeah, dude. I was stationed with Marines for a while, and those guys... See, like, the, the Adam Kokesh just, um... Here's freedom. Check it out. Um, here's a place to start on it. That that method worked on me. Like someone just put me down that rabbit hole. Uh, you know, I, I, I just happened to hear Kokesh on like a wrestling podcast. And I was kind of, was an anarchist and didn't know it, but I was kind of like in this like, I don't really care about this stuff anymore. I just don't, I have no more energy or time to give a fuck about politics. So like that was kind of where I was, and then I heard Adam Kokesh talk one time, and that put me down a rabbit hole, and and here I am now. Yeah, so, yeah. I just uh, I just wanted to touch on one thing you said before you were saying before Johnny about the the Marines that uh, I mean it's 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 funny I mean I I never thought of it in those terms, but it, it makes sense to me now looking back because I had a bunch of friends that you know went to the Marines at a high school, and you know they came back, and I was still friendly with them, but you could see the change in them like it really like at the time you just figured that they went through some stuff and, and that would necessarily change a person but when you think of it in the context of what people like us know now where it's they were literally brain you know brainwashed and they were beaten over the head with this stuff and, and and told they had to they had to obey 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 um you know it's and that that you're the good guy you're the good guy you're the good guy you're the good guy like that many times it's gonna mess with a person's head and you, it now like i said now looking back I, I look at those guys and i'm like wow that's what happened to you man that sucks because that's that's hard to break but the it's funny i never i never thought about the i never thought about the brutalist angle either but as soon as you guys said that i'm like oh yeah all the friends i have are pretty much all x and that that would make sense about something uh donnie gebert had said on our show before about the fact that you know people like he needed to be beaten over the head with this you know he openly admits that he needed to be smacked upside the face repeatedly and insulted to get this because it had oh, to be God, I'm the same way man that's why i mean like some of the content that i've put out there has really really pissed people off and if that's a skill that i've developed and that i saw through my time in the military then i i'd consider it a good thing mm -hmm. yeah it's, uh, I, I think, I mean, yeah, the whole idea of, you know, whatever tactic, but with the military people in particular, if that's what's going to work, then we need, we definitely need the brutalist out there because uh, <laughs> that'll be the, the I, I mean, I, I've always contended that swinging the majority of them would end things at, you know, get us closer to a stateless society than take, waiting for the, the rest of the status to catch up to the, you know, to catch up with us. Um, well, it's funny. I actually, I, I actually have a couple of family members that are in the military presently, and I still talk to them. And ironically enough, okay, so I, I'm sure a lot of you guys are, you know, familiar with this with Thanksgiving. Just, you know, not too long ago, we get around their families, and uh, there's a lot of disagreements. Now, I have a cousin who is actually in the military presently, and a lot of my family doesn't really talk to me a whole lot. My cousin in the military is one who does, and there, from what he tells me, there's actually a lot of people in the military that call it racism, whatever you want, due to Obama's presidency, are becoming a lot more aware of what is going on. So, if there's, I gotta say, man, I I can see and I see it every day. There is a massive social awakening coming, and. None of us know that. None of us know how the happening is gonna happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I I think it's gonna be like a a fucked up false flag because I think uh, I think the next really big false flag, especially on U.S. soil, uh, is really gonna radicalize a lot of people, and and or if they try to take guns and or Trump is like the clear leader and gets killed or the the election gets fucked up somehow. I think I think a lot of people will wake up if Trump gets fucked up. Well, if if he cuz I already have a bet if he gets if he gets elected Trump uh, Trump will be dead within his first year some he he'll be doing something that they don't want to do and bam bye. Well, I I, I don't know. I, I think uh, I you're, think you're that's a, a lot, lot of hope in thinking, the electoral again, system right now. I, 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 I said it before, you know, I said it earlier that I, I think a lot of people are disenfranchised, but they don't, they can't see past the current issues, you know, everybody, especially, I mean, here in the States, 
everybody has such a ridiculously short-term memory, you know, and that's how they are able, the, the state is able to continue um, boiling these frogs in, in, the, in the pot and they're just completely like, you know, no, it doesn't matter how many times they screw up, people just move on. You know, it's it, it's not an accident that the declassification process on most um, most major events in U.S. history is like 25 to 50 years. That's not by accident. You know, you wait that long to disclose information like the stuff that has proven fo uh, former so-called conspiracy theories to be absolutely 100 percent freaking true. Like, it, you know, it, when it happens that far down the line, everybody's just like, ah, what are you going to do? It's, it's it was news. in the Nobody past. Yeah, it was in the it's past. You know, the, the one, I mean, because the one that, the most recent one to me that still blows my mind is the, was it 99 when the, uh, what's her name? Uh, Martin Luther King's widow, uh, Coretta Scott, Coretta Scott King, was that her name? Yeah. Um, won, a, won a suit. That said, that the that that basically said that the CIA people within the CIA had a hand in ML, MLK's murder, like, and people are just like, eh, you know. Yeah, like, that, that that like that if was, they, if that would have got released like the de like the month after it happened, there would have been open scale rebellion. Well, yeah, but that's what. But even but, he, but you take anything else, the same thing. Gulf of Tonkin. You know, that was a conspiracy theory for a while. No, that's Operation true. Northwoods. Yeah. You know, yeah, Northwoods, MK Ultra. Um, you know, all of these things. You know, e even 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 stuff that that people. You know, the the whole the whole idea that you know, um, j just the even the narratives that are that were presented, they're like so demonstrably false at this point. But because it happened so long ago or and, and sadly even like these days it's within a decade with these days it's within a decade people are just like eh that was those people that has nothing to do with us now so we're not you know or you can't do anything about it it's like you don't you i mean that's where the, you start banging your head against the wall because it's like you don't see the pattern you don't see the bloody pattern and then it keeps happening again and again and again but i don't know you got breaking through is tough. It is. It is very tough. I agree. But you know, what are, what are you gonna do? They got you know, we got we just got to keep plugging along, and uh, you'll get you'll get to people eventually. Um, you know, like I said, I, I firmly believe that everybody has that aha moment in them. It's just a matter of, you know, whether it's personal tragedy or or being affected directly by the state eventually. Um, you know, especially to people that I, I find it a lot with people that, you know, that, that are always the, you know, the laws, the law types, when the law finally comes, it goes against them. And they're like, wait a minute, I really didn't do anything wrong here. Like that's all of a sudden, like, holy crap, maybe these other people weren't so crazy. Um, but it's just a long drawn out process, unfortunately. So, so Johnny, do you want to talk about the free thought pod project for a second? Like, uh, tell everybody about it if they're not following or for some reason they don't know about it by now oh well we are a uh, we're an alternate uh, an alternative media news website um, we also have a Facebook page the free thought project um, we put out new hard-hitting content every day uh, we're one of the few alternative media sites that uh, on our social media networks we put out um, what I would, in my opinion, and judging from the number of shares and likes and comments that we get, I would say we put out some really good, uh, you know, really fresh memes. Uh, stuff makes people think. Um, good information. We try and mix it up, you know, put out statistics, facts that people aren't aware of. Uh, we, tr you know, try and do it in picture format because, you know, as uh, I'm sure you guys are aware, a lot of people don't really care for reading long news stories anymore. Uh, you know, it's all headlines and fancy pictures with words and all that stuff. So, I mean, we're really becoming a meme-based society at this I, point. I don't know why the newspaper companies... Video. Yeah. You what, Dave? I don't know why the newspaper companies haven't, like, just started putting memes in everything. Front page is a meme. Because they right. can't do better than us. 
we're, we're the yeah. best memers, man. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm going to declare myself pretty soon like the king of geopolitical memes because <laughs> I've been rocking it lately. For the last week, every, G, every meme about geopolitics that I've put out has rocked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your page got your page America Today got or America News. No, it was maybe it was America Today got shut down because of one meme, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't just the one meme, so I don't know if you guys Jeremy, are you aware of the story behind the whole shutdown? Uh there was a group that was essentially dedicated to taking our page down. It was three hundred strong. They were reporting every post that we put out. Wow. And then we put out one that went super viral, and it got shared by quite a few big pages. Mm -hmm. And at the time the page was getting shut down, I tracked this meme, and it was getting shared five times a second. It had been shared almost 31,000 times. It was getting wow. shared five times a second, and my page got killed. <laughs> so, yeah. You, you can open people's eyes with a meme. People people think about a meme so much that it drives censorship. And we've I, I, I can shoot you, like, so many news articles if anyone ever doubts that. Who will pick the cotton meme? Real, censorship is real. Oh, yeah, you guys got straight censored. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's well, it's, un I, I don't know. I, I With those situations, it's unfortunate because it's a... Uh, it's kind of like a catch-22 almost because, you know, regardless of whatever help Facebook has along the way and whatever ties they have, you know, may, may or may not have to the government, you know, technically they're supposed to be a private company. So, you know, in our, in our world, um, they would be able to censor all they wanted if that's what they chose. But it's unfortunate because the problem is too many people, almost always those same people that, that are cl completely clueless to what's actually going on, get empowered by this and they think that well yeah they're gonna let us shut these down because we're offended so they're gonna keep doing it and that's it, it, you, you get more and more of a society that's just all about feels and has zero logic to it whatsoever because it's just everything well I'm, I'm offended by this so this needs to be like do people not realize that the end result of that is everybody staring at a blank wall if that everywhere you know, <laughs> like the everything. Since 1984. It's 1984, brother. I've noticed that the bigger your page is, the more they like try to fuck it up and shut it down. Unless you're spending a shit ton of money. I bet if you were, if I bet if uh, America Today was spending a thousand dollars a week, you wouldn't have got shut down. Probably not, but <laughs> there's still Twitter. There's there's other social media networks out there too. So yeah. Well. You just you started another one anyway, so it's <laughs> yep. not like this. We will like this. not be silenced. <laughs> yeah. You know, so that, like I said, I, like I said, I, I, I well, like I, I, like I said, I, I just think the, the, the bigger issue for me is the, the fact that the, the people that get empowered by this, you know, if Facebook wants to bow to these people, that's that's their choice, and you know, maybe one, maybe one of these other smaller social media sites will finally take off. Who knows? Um, but yeah, you're right. There's there's so many there's so many mediums out there. Um, you know, that's, I mean, that's why we, we do our podcast. We have our podcast, we have the YouTube channel, like it gets out in like a myriad of forms, you know, and then we use our social media in other ways. And, you know, you just, you, you tackle it from as many angles as you can. And when people want to throw blow have, uh, have you heard that YouTube is actually, YouTube is actually taking down channels now for violent content and it's not even violent. Uh, photography is not a crime. PNAC. Yes. Their YouTube channel got taken down because of a video. Really? And it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was just a police brutality video. But well, the next. I think the next social media. The the next social media like phase is going to be decentralized video uploading, that can't be taken down by anyone. And then no one can shut it down because it's decentralized. I think that's the next big step, and I think that. Uh, if that goes mainstream, where it's like, well, shit, you know, I could upload whatever I wanted. I could upload my conspiracy theory. I could upload anything. I ju it just can't be taken down. You could have filters to block shit out. But, I mean, I think that's the next big step for, for, for social media, especially. 
I think that there's there's actually a few services out there, I think, that are like that, but uh, they, they are not mainstream. They're not big. I don't think it's a real user-friendly format. Like, if it was put out in a real user-friendly format... That's what I meant. Definitely, man. Def I mean, if you... I, Twitter is almost essentially that, except obviously it has centralized servers. But if you could get something like Twitter that was, like you said, decentralized, that would be humongous. I mean, well, technically the, the blockchain is. The ramifications of that, though, think about that. You can get information anywhere in the world no one has control. Yep. That is huge. Like, yep. that's the that's next huge. big step, in my opinion. Well, like Minds is trying to do that. I would love to see that. that. Let's, let's get on. Let's get on that. Come on. Let's. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the I'm the over here, so I'll just cheer you on. You know. So. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, it's well. I mean, we we say it all the time. That, I mean, I, I the the internet is the reason that more and more of us are are merging every day, and more and more people are waking up, and it's a great. You know, it's. I mean, I, I, I say a lot that it's, you know, technology in general, especially the internet, it's, it's the thing that may save us all and it may destroy us as well because, um, you know, as long as the state is around and they have their people involved in some way in getting into it and spreading misinformation, you know, there's, more and more, there's more and more you have to wade through. So uh, if we can get to that decentralized point, that'd be awesome. Um, I don't know, I don't know how long, you know. Better propaganda, friend. We, got, we always got to make better propaganda. That's what it's all about, man. We got to counter the state in any way we can. Yeah, that's uh, that's a big focus of mine lately is propaganda. I'm trying to, like, do catchphrases and, and other stuff. And propaganda works, especially on the more feeble-minded. Yeah. Oh, well. definitely, man. Me memes are a huge medium. And on that note, if you guys wouldn't mind, I'll take a few minutes. And uh, I think this is important information I, I can share with people. Sure. Uh, just as far as memeing goes, for anyone, uh, for any of you content generators out there that are making content right now, there's a few things you got to understand about memes. Um, first and foremost, if I, I understand a good chunk of us are probably memers on Facebook, Facebook has recognition software. Okay, it can recognize those pictures. So all those stock memes that you normally see, algorithms have the ability to kill that. If you have the, the ability through Photoshop or whatever editing software you have to change that picture up, lighten it, darken it, add a filter, change something about that picture, it doesn't even have to be huge. And then add your text in, it will help confuse the algorithms and you can actually increase your reach and that is very important also just as a matter of being aesthetically pleasing as I'm sure a lot of us recognize we live in a very visually based or society people want as much information in the shortest amount of time possible they want to see it they want it right there when you're making a meme instead of putting one picture and then doing a shit ton of words Use multiple pictures. When people see a picture, they will associate it. Use a picture and then a short description. I think that that, that I mean, that's my advice. I, you know, I make a lot of memes. A lot of them do very well. Take the advice or leave it, whatever your preference. I just wanted that information out there, and I'm glad you guys have given me the opportunity to say that. <laughs> no, I, I, well, I, I mean, I for one appreciate it. I mean, I, I think we talked about it a little before. I'm, 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 I'm a little new to this. Dave always makes fun of me because I'm not very tech savvy. And oh, I, I learn I, every day as well. I, 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 yeah, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm. I'm I mean, you think really... you're using Facebook, right? And then, and then someone comes along and goes, "Hey, uh, you're, you're really fucking up." <laughs> like... yeah, but, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about not even at your level, man. Come on now, like I literally just learned how to use this, this stupid, you know, meme generator map on my oh. uh, app on my phone. Um, and uh, it's funny because you know you you I mean what you said makes sense, um, you know. And I right, so I don't mean to cut you off here, okay. Jeremy. I don't mean to cut you off, but if you want, we can do meme school right here on the podcast, <laughs> brother. If there's any questions you have, I can sure. meme on a phone. I can meme on a tablet. I can meme on my PC. Name it. What do you need help with? What do you want to know? Meme oh, well, generator no. sucks. Get rid of it. Get Fonto. Yeah, what's it? What is it? Fonto. It's called Fonto. P H O N T O. If you're on Android, it's available on Android. I believe it's also available on uh, Apple. 
whatever that's called. I, yeah, <laughs> iTunes. All right. No, no. Okay, I'll, I'll yeah. check that. Yeah. I believe. See, again, I just followed. Da- I followed Dave's lead. <laughs> So once you have Fonto, the great thing about Fonto is it gives you more control over the text. You can increase and decrease the size. You have more control over fonts. You can download fonts to the app. Like I, I have a Burger King font on my <laughs> on my phone, just you know, in case I want to make a Burger King meme. Yeah, um, that's pretty cool. Um, another one to get is Pixart. Just P I C S space art. Uh-huh. It gives you nearly full Photoshop capabilities on a phone. You can cut and paste, put heads on other people, and do all of that stuff. So if that was something you ever want to do, that's something yeah. great that's also available on that app. Actually, that that would have been very handy this morning before I before I rushed out the door to work. I was I was I I, I had two memes I was trying to make and I kept fucking both of them up. And one of them involved photoshopping some type stuff that I don't normally do. And I was working with very antiquated software. Uh. <laughs> I have a uh, GIMP now on my computer. I haven't really messed with it a lot, and I've never really messed with Photoshop. I'm I'm just really, I get um I get the the the. The, you know where you're like I'm a little too scared to try to really learn all this or lazy one or the other yeah it's like well for me it's always been lazy I'll admit, I'll admit that um, but now now I'm, I'm, I'm into this stuff. well I'm an idea guy exactly. I mean Dude, I'll tell you once you have the app installed it is so easy if you guys yeah. ever have questions feel free shoot me well, a message I've, uh, I've been doing this for a long time and I can <laughs> show you I actually just posted a comparison in uh, one of the groups I, I think we're all in um, I posted a comparison, and it's the old school meme versus what I do now, mm-hmm. and hundred and fifty percent improvement, man. And it's just learning, learning your shit. Learn yeah. to Photoshop. Learn file sizes. Learn textures. Learn, you know, all these different things. Really helps. And if people start making better memes, that's very important because, like I said, we need to counter a lot of fucking bullshit propaganda. Yeah. No, that I mean that that makes a lot of sense. Like, and like I said, I I I am I'm, I'm now at the point where I'm willing to learn of these things, um, because, I mean, again, to to take the I guess the little bit of the devil's advocate side on that, part of me has has always said that sinking to their, you know, sinking to their level essentially, just keeps everybody dumber. Um, and I want better for, I guess I want better for society, but I, I guess, I, I mean, it, 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 you know, in the, in the very, in the interim, of course, we, we have to, com- we have, to, we have no choice but to f- fight fire with fire because otherwise we're just going to get smothered. Um, and that's just that, dude, you can, you can put really important information in a meme, man. Like it doesn't necessarily. Oh no, I get you. I get you. I mean, it's, it's putting it in a relatively dumb format. I, I would completely agree with yeah. that because <laughs> there is absolutely no way you can get a full news story from a picture and maybe two dozen words. Mm-hmm. But if you want to learn more and you want to inspire curiosity, you can absolutely get the gist of something and put it in a picture very easily. Mm-hmm. Well, I, uh, again, make, Oh make yeah, sense. like the... Um, <laughs> I, I'm the one who needs this school. This, this is awesome, man, because I, 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 for one, need this school and I, I'd be happy, <laughs> happy happy to learn this stuff. Um, let me just ask you, though, actually, what we were talking about was it the the Fonto you said the program because you were you kept saying that you know multiple pictures and stuff does that program allow you to do that on your phone? Uh, Fonto is actually more for text, but Pixar okay. allows you to collage. And okay. um, if if you ever like, there's a few different formats for uh, for collaging that aren't available on Pixar. If you got the room, if you want to download another one, there's another app called PhotoGrid, and it gives you a few different, a uh, few different formats uh, for you know just on a phone you're limited. You can only arrange pictures so many different ways. PC, I mean, it, you can arrange them any way you want, but at least with the pre-programmed limits that they give you on those apps, PhotoGrid gives you a few more options. So if you ever want to do that. I always find that more pictures in a meme, the better. More pictures, less words. Mm-hmm. I think it speaks to a lot more people because they can just go. And my memes are usually like no words. This guy, this guy, this guy, this thing. Mm-hmm. And I just let the pictures, I do let the pictures do most of the speaking for it. And just like, yeah, uh, I made one that went out today. NATO ally put a picture of uh, Erdogan, the Prime Minister of Turkey, and Obama just, you know, laughing. 
uh, a NATO ally is helping these guys, picture of ISIS, mm -hmm. smuggle this oil. And then I put a picture of Putin just as a joke, uh, the Kermit the Frog frickin', uh, mm -hmm. but that's none of my business. Yeah. I was just like, but that's none of my business with Putin drinking a mug of beer or something like that. <laughs> it's just more pictures, but yeah, it's a pretty funny meme. It resonates with people. It increases shareability, which is important because it reaches more people the more it gets shared. And I mean, that's really my goal, man. I just yeah, unless you're to unless you're paying Facebook money. money. Unless you're paying Facebook money, like shares are the only thing that matters. So like if yeah, you have a favorite podcast or a favorite page out there, if you just hit share all the time for their stuff, it boosts their edge rank up. If you don't know what edge rank is, Google it. <laughs> edge rank it like the higher your edge rank is, the more people see your stuff. So the best thing to do if you if you have a page that you want someone to uh, or, or that's a friends or another podcast or whatnot. Go in there and share their pages. Share them to your pages. Share them to groups. Share them on your wall. It, the more you do that, the more their edge rate goes up and the more people see their content. And if you like the content, then the, the people that you're sharing their content for are going to want to do more content. And liking and commenting too, man. We, we hit this all the time. I literally, I type this out so many times a day. It's ridiculous. Please, for all you social media people, like just click the freaking like button it is so much it helps so 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 much it the, i can't even tell you man algorithms depend on it like comment and share the content that you like it is so important because we are being stifled i i can't even tell you bro i i run my fair share of facebook pages YouTube accounts, Google Plus, Twitter. Twitter doesn't censor so bad though. I, again, plus one for Twitter. But uh, <laughs> all of this stuff, it stifles us so bad. I can take pages that have hundreds of thousands of likes, put out something, and it reaches, even if it does very, very well, half of the total number of people that like the page, if that. Yeah. That they want you to pay that money, money, money. Dude, that is insane to me to watch a page with maybe, you know, say a quarter of a million likes or a half a million likes. And you put out a meme, it gets shared, say, 2,000 times. Mm -hmm. And it still only reaches 100,000 people. It's reaching half your audience with freaking 2,000 shares, man. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, but if you was to drop about a hundred bucks on that, everybody and their mother would see it. That's how Facebook gets your money. Well, so yeah. it's it's like the free to play p players. It's like the free to play players talking shit play, about the pay to play yeah. players. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of, well, like I was, I was gonna say that. That's 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 the other side of that argument. So if you if you have libertarian content or or anarchist content coming from pages you like, donate to their Bitcoin and donate to their. Uh, stuff and and i would advise a lot of these people be like hey do you want to donate just only to our boost to boost our po post on facebook we'll boost one a day you know for th this much more hours or whatnot so it's it can help a lot <clears throat> but facebook is going to get rich off of that by not paying i will not pay there you go force well. me to go to twitter facebook fuck you <laughs> Well, see, they, they, there you go. See, that's that's the thing. That's the other side of that argument. This is, this is. I mean, it's it's stifled, obviously, in the current paradigm. But this is supposed to be the market at play. Okay, this is what they want to offer us. We either find something better, or we find a way to make it work for us. You know, that's you Facebook know, that, made in, me a in promise. A free market scenario. They put it on the website right at the beginning, and it's always been there. Always has been free. Always will be. And now you want me to pay to play? That's no, not well, how this works. That's well, not no, how I, any of this works. Well, no, but again, like, I, I don't know. I look at it as even in a, even in a, you know, a free, a completely freed market scenario, um, a Facebook could change the rules halfway through the game if it wanted to. It would likely lose most of its customer base, and the only reason it hasn't lost most of it is because there really isn't. A, there still really isn't a competitor at this point. If, if they Twitter even is, charged, if they even charged a penny a day, people would quit. But that's what I'm saying. But so they don't have to. 
because how many? I mean, how many million people? How many billion people at this point are on Twitter? Is, are they in the billions of people at this point? Yeah, yeah, they're in the billions on Twitter and Facebook. Facebook's no, got the most like Facebook. by far. What's that? Facebook has the most by far. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, Facebook is way, way bigger than Twitter. Oh, no, like, no, no. I no, think I, like seven or eight times bigger than Twitter. Oh, no, I figured as much, but I was I was just saying in general, like, have they reached a billion people at this point? I, I don't know if that if it's that's that spread that we're watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but, way but, over a billion. But, but, okay, so regardless, though, like, out of that many people, how many of them do you think are actually trying to share important content? And how many of them are just sharing their goddamn pictures of their cats and their dinners? Exactly. Which I, know yeah, that, I know that running joke still goes on, and I don't see it as much anymore. But that's also because most of my my feed is is littered with anarchists these days. Um, there's not so many yeah. status. Most most of my status friends and family yeah, have I pretty been, much got rid of that. I self censored that shit out pretty me quick, <laughs> or uh, at least blocked my content altogether, and I never see theirs anymore. So I never have to deal with it. Uh, <laughs> but how many of the, how many of those people do you think are that type? So the having to pay to get your stuff boosted, or even just to get shared to what under the original terms of the contract should have been the case. Um, you know, not, I don't think there's that many, you know, between it's, uh, it's people like people like us and news sites, you know, or people or advertisers. Other than that, you know, most people just don't care. They just use it. And so they don't, they don't even have to think about paying. So it doesn't affect them. But like you said, Dave, if they, if they introduced a one penny a day or whatever it was, yeah, a lot of people or what, you know, a lot of people may then, but until that happens, we just. Have I want there to. Some, I think it like a, a, thing that like combines the best of Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, Google. I think whatever comes along and does that, and also offers like full encryption on everything and free video uploading. Uh, and and then if they can even get it more, do uh, do more than that and go no ads and just do truly decentralized. Or you can run ads on your page, but you're the only one that gets paid. Stuff like that, you know, that would be that would be killer. It would shut all the other ones down. They'd be like, well, why are you? Say, Dave, don't be too conservative. Tell us what you really want. I mean, come on now, man. I'm just talking about coming up with an actual honest to goodness competitor just for Facebook, mm. just just for argument's sake. Just like just even that, like if if another company could come up with a similar ah. product that could rival it. Then that would for then that's the only thing that's going to force Facebook to change that. So like you know you know like we've been saying, you just have to work around it instead. That's the best we can do at this point until something you know like the two last ones were what Sue and MeWe that tried to come up and, and tried to replace yeah. you know tried to be competitors and they haven't gone very far at all in the, in the year or so that they've been in. in it's play. like if you're going to try to compete with Facebook at this point, your your shit has to be way better than Twitter's, and it has to be as it has fluid. To be as Facebook, like you gotta be able to be like, you gotta be able to like log into this thing through Facebook and it basically transfer like where you don't even know there's really a difference. You know what I'm saying? Well, Pretty yeah, much. you, yeah, you would, you, yeah, that's what I said. It, it's not about getting Twitter or something else to, you know, compete with it that way. It's an actual product of the same type that. And, and you know, and most likely, it would have to have one more important feature that Facebook is missing, you know, because like you were saying, like all the the, the you know the the, the super uh, social media site, I guess the one you were describing, Dave, with all those with all those perks and stuff like that, um, you know, that that's you know that's that that comes for that comes later. Um, at, at the, in the interim, I think all it would really take is something that is equivalent to Facebook and offers one extra thing that Facebook doesn't. That's what it would take it to swing. Because if you offer the same product at this point, again, those same people that are just using it to contact their family and friends and just share pictures of, of, of things that, you know, and they're not trying to get a message out, whether, you know, whether it's, you know, people like us, you know, other news organizations. Yeah, music, yeah, music yeah, anything like that. Yeah, like, yeah, like people like people like that exist, but I still think the vast majority of people are just average people that are just sharing their stuff with their friends and family and could care less. They're not going to be swayed by it. Google a, could a, kill a, all of it. Google could kill Facebook if they somehow streamlined YouTube a lot better and allowed ma people to make, like, basically a news feed on YouTube, but they didn't edge rank or anything like that. Like, people could just see whatever. If you follow shit, you're going to see it. Google tried, man. Google tried with Google Plus, and it has been a gigantic failure. Um, 
Yeah, well, it's because it's a completely right. different yeah, idiot. Jeremy, Jeremy, you're exactly right. Here's here's what you need to take down Facebook if you want. You need to be able to post from your from your uh, social media network on Facebook, because then people will start being slowly driven over to yours because it's like, oh, I can dual post, and that's going to be the killer. If you can dual post Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, everything. And then so this is own. basically just a that, collage. That's, that's how you do it. Well, this is this is, well, this is mean, basically just a uh, a drudge report for social media. Is what you're saying? Well, I well I don't know about that. No, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying there's there's apps out there. Okay, there there's certain apps out there that allow you to dual post on Facebook and Twitter. Um, Google Plus does not allow you to do that. I had high hopes, dude. When Google Plus was when Google came out with Google Plus. I thought it was going to be huge, and I immediately got on there and watched it die, because yeah. you couldn't you couldn't dual post on Google Plus, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you could have dual posted, that would have been huge because more people would have been driven to it. But because you can't, people were just like, "Nah, all my friends are here. I'm just going to stay on Facebook. So mm -hmm. fuck it." And they never really came out with a huge. I mean, their their mobile interface is pretty friendly, but it's fundamentally hugely different than Facebook. And people yeah, the thing that replaces Facebook the circles and all that people just didn't get into it. The thing that replaces Facebook is going to have to be at basically Facebook 2.0, but we don't do all the nasty shit that Facebook does. In my opinion, like someone comes out with a decentralized fully encrypted Facebook that you can log into your Facebook and if people do the same through that thing that they can meet people up and message and do everything from it. Does somebody steal the best shit from all of them? Like, give me the video service of YouTube. Give me the liking, commenting, sharing option from Facebook. Give me the... Um, I don't know. Actually, that'd probably about do it. The video service, and I've actually heard that Facebook is trying to integrate a uh, search feature for videos, the same as YouTube has. Yeah. And if that happens, watch YouTube die too. YouTube will go bye bye, especially if Facebook starts it off with no advertisements, the way YouTube started. Mm. Bye YouTube. Well, YouTube yeah. would have to move to no advertisements. Or what will happen is both of the companies will go, hey, look, why don't we uh, try to push this subscription thing and do exactly what Netflix and Hulu are doing? Because you can already subscribe to YouTube and get all your ads gone. So yep, Facebook then, does the same thing and then goes, hey, if you just subscribe nine ninety nine to Facebook every month, you don't have to watch, watch ads Facebook on anything. Like you were saying, you, the second you start charging people, it, it's or they'll just watch the ads. You, you could charge a penny a year. It's the added time that it takes to go in and actually pay. It'll drive people away. People will be like, nope, I'm not wasting the time. Fuck this. TLDR. It's Murica, man. TLDR. No, I ain't nobody and got And people act like they don't like free stuff. And, but then they get real upset when they realize how, like, how intrusive, like, how Google and Facebook are actually making their money. is shady as fuck. So, like, something needs to be done for this. But I guess we can wrap this up. I really had fun talking and chilling yeah, with this Johnny. Yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm really psyched that the conversation took this to, took this path. This was uh, very informative for me, and uh, I, I definitely had a lot of fun. I got nothing to add, man. You guys, it, it's been fun, dude. All right. All right, man. I really appreciate you helping our page out. I love helping out your pages and stuff. Um, maybe one day you can sneak a, a Seeds of Liberty post on the Free Thought Project for us. Um, <laughs> I think that can be done. Give me a really, 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 really fresh meme, man. That's that's all it takes. Give me a really fresh meme. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Right. I got a really good Star Wars one I'm about to do. So, um, I have an outlet for that, too. <laughs> all right, well, uh, Alliance you, you... of Rebel Scum, if you don't like it, check it out. Alliance of Rebel Scum. We do a lot of Star Wars stuff on there. I'm not a big Star Wars one, but this one's too funny. There you go. Um, all right. Well, do, do you want to do you want to plug your stuff one last time, Johnny, or where, where everybody can find you and stuff, you know, oh, stuff man, like that? I'm not, I'm not interested in plugging stuff. That's, yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, I have to ask. Um, all right. Well, this this has been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I definitely appreciate you coming on. Uh, we should do this more often. Um, 
uh, as always, uh, as we already mentioned before, uh, for everybody out there, if you could just you know like, subscribe, share, you know comment on any of the, any and all of our stuff, or if you find it, it'd be really appreciated. Um, you know, if you actually want to donate to us, you can find that stuff at the All the information you... is there. But uh, you know, the big thing for me, I've always said, is it's all about the sharing of the content and just trying to. You know, I, I try to I try to help other people out the same way that we're you know we're talking about, and that's all I ask for. So uh, you know, if you could do that, that's great. Yeah, like uh, what really is kind of a downer is when we look on our feed, we'll see like a meme, a meme, a meme, and all of those have like ten thousand people seeing it, and they have like thirty, forty, two thousand shares, whatever. And um, our whenever we post a podcast, it's like I'm almost gonna have to start posting podcasts with a meme. Because yeah. just regular posts don't get shared. No, post it with a meme. Post everything with a meme. I, at this point, dude, when I share a video, if I have a rant, anything like that, share it with a meme. It will always do better 100% of the time. I guarantee it. All right. Post it with a meme. Even if the meme sucks. Well, what, we're doing, what we're doing with our, our – <laughs> we're, we're trying a new thing with the Facebook uh, where we're – posting like a 30 second clip from the episode in with the post and everything. And uh, I think when we did that, it got like uh, 200 views, but still it w it's not as good as a meme. If a meme goes, oh, you know, you'll, crazy. You'll like, uh, check out the anti-media sometime. Whenever they, whenever they post a link, uh, when they go live on their radio show every night, they always post it with a meme. And especially if you guys start making really good memes too, dude, big pages like that, will totally share your content man they will completely share your content if you you know just keep putting out dank content man that's really where it's at yeah all right well we'll, we'll have to work on that uh, <laughs> yeah it's easy brother i'll help you guys out man i'll, I'll do what i can uh, I, I definitely appreciate it man uh i mean we talked about this a little earlier before we started recording about the fact that we have such a small community um but uh it's uh, it's a good one as far as I'm concerned. I keep I keep I keep coming across such cool people. It's uh, it's good to know that other people are out there, and uh, if we can help each other out, we can uh, you know, bring a quicker end of the state for everybody. Um, but all right, so this has been the Seeds of Liberty podcast, uh, episode 38. Uh, again, you know, you can find all our information, all all of our locations at theseedsofliberty.com, and uh, we will uh, catch you next time. Peace. Peace.